Hello, this is Satvi. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is uh, Anterior Extremum Theorem. Here is the statement of this theorem. Let f be a differentiable function on an open interval a, b and f attains a maximum value at a point c which belongs to the open interval a, b then the derivative of the function at c must be 0. And this uh, statement is also true if f of c is a minimum value. Now let me give you the proof of this theorem. To begin the proof, first I will write down what is given and what we want to show. So given the function f is differentiable uh, on interval a, b. So this is the first statement which is a given. We also given the second statement which is a given that is a c belongs to an open interval a, b. Uh, such that so that the values of fc always larger than any other value of the function when x belongs to the interval a b or in other word f of c is the maximum value of the function what we want to show we want to show the derivative of the function at this point is zero this is what we want to show now I will start from what we have. So we have um, C belongs to interval A, B and we know the open interval is open set. So this is an open set. Uh, since the interval A, B is an open set and uh, C belongs to the open interval A, B, so I can find epsilon positive such that I can create an opal bubble around C so C minus epsilon 0 C plus epsilon 0 that will completely contained in the interval a b now let me draw this picture so what that mean is so we have this interval a b and there is a point uh, C which belong to the open interval A, B. Uh, since A, B is an open interval, so we can basically create an open bubble around this point which is epsilon C minus epsilon and C plus epsilon 0. Now I'm going to take two sequence. One uh, is from the left hand side of C and one from the right hand side of T which the both sequence approach to um, C. So let's suppose the sequence Xn. So I can construct the sequence Xn because I have an open bubble. For example, if I have to construct a sequence Xn which converges to C, I can take C um, minus epsilon 0 divide n plus 1. So this sequence will converge to C and this sequence will always be less than or is equal to C. Uh, similarly, I can construct a, another sequence y n here by taking c plus epsilon 0 over n plus 1 uh, which will be always on the right hand side of c and as n approaches to uh, infinity y n will converge to c. So from this discussion we choose the sequence x n and the sequence y n and as you can see the both sequence belongs to the interval a b because uh, the open bubble around c is completely contained in the interval a b. Uh, the sequence x n will always be on the uh, left of c and the sequence y 1 will be on the right of c uh, such that both the sequence xn and yn they both converge to c now next i am going to use the definition of a differentiability so f prime of c the function is a differentiable at point c uh, this implies the limit as x approaches to c uh, f of x 
minus f of c this limit exists because the differentiability of the function is given so this limit must exist and also I will use the sequential characterization of the limit so if this limit exists this limit must be is equal to as n approaches to infinity f of x n minus f of c whole thing is a divide by x n minus c because the sequence x n is converges to c so therefore by using the sequential characterization of the limit I can replace the x by x n and now notice this value is the max of our function so this will be always greater than all value of the function or in other word this the denominator always be a negative number and since the sequence xn is also less than c so this number the denominator will also be a negative number so denominator is a negative denominator is also negative it means this uh, uh, the quotient will be always a positive number or this implies the f prime of c is greater than or equal to 0. Now we will repeat the same argument with the sequence y n. So we will first again write down what is the definition of the differentiability. So limit as x approaches to c of f x minus f of c. This limit must exist because the function is a differentiable at c and uh, I can use the sequential characterization to replace this limit by the sequence uh, y n because the sequence y n is converges to c so this is basically the same essentially y n minus c and also notice again this is a max so this is always gonna be greater than all values of f of y n so this is going to be the negative denominator but since the y n is on the right side of c so this uh, the denominator uh, term is always gonna be a positive so if I combine both of them this uh, uh, limit is going to stay negative so this implies f prime of c is less than or is equal to 0 so first I prove this is a greater than or is equal to 0 and I also prove the derivative at c is less than or is equal to 0. So 1 and 2 if I combine the equation 1 and 2 will imply the f prime of c is exactly is equal to 0. And this complete the proof of this theorem. You can also use that f of c is the minimum value and can run this parallel argument. Uh, to prove that f prime of c is equal to 0. Next I have one quiz problem for you to practice. Please pause the video for 1 and 2 minutes and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.